Okay, here we have a ship that's just sitting parked on Jupiter. And uh, we're going to be using this ship to find out what a good time would be to uh, do a sling of Jupiter to chase after a, tro a Trojan. Uh, let's pull up Transex. And let's see here, we want to escape, so go to escape, then forward. We're going to toggle through a series of choices. Um, DD1 is a good one. What we want to do is a sling, so that means we have to turn auto plan off because normally it's eject. This allows us to change it to a sling. And orbits to intercept. We'll want to do 0.5 because after we sling we're going to do one full orbit uh, to chase um, the uh, Trojan. And uh, this allows us to be looking for the closest point of the intercept w uh, starting at least a half an orbit after we did the sling. Uh, graph projection plan. That's best. And scale to view. For now we'll leave it at all. Okay, what we're going to do now, we're over to the view of Sling Direct, and we're going to raise some velocity. Uh, lots of velocity. I like to throw in like 100 or something. That's plenty. Uh, you'll see why in a moment. Uh, and we go to, we want to move the date forward, but you notice I'm clicking on date, nothing's happening. And that's because we have to turn inherit velocity off. Going back forward over to the uh, date again, we're going to now click and hold, and we're moving it around. So understand what we've got essentially is a very fast moving ship that's going to leave Jupiter, uh, effectively a, a tangent to Jupiter's orbit. And we want it to leave at the axis. That white line is the axis between Jupiter and the Trojan. So where Jupiter, or in this case the uh, where we leave Jupiter, which is the tangent point of this yellow line, when that tangent point hits the white line, that's uh, that's the date, and it's going to be really rough. But we'll just start by tr getting it. So that means this is going to be effectively a 90 degree angle here. Uh, that's good for now. Uh, that looks pretty close to 90, maybe. Yeah, that's fine. And now. Uh, what we want to do is get a closer look at, at what we're doing here. Um, actually, we could do that uh, a little bit later. We can go ahead and fine-tune the date. And the way we'd fine-tune the date is reduce the velocity first down to something reasonable. I like to shoot for something like 9 or 10, somewhere in there. And then use inclination. And now notice the inner blue one has been becoming more inclined uh, or from the side instead of larger. That's not what we want. That inner blue one is the Trojan and we want to expand it to circular. See in effect we're, we're rotating it and so we're going to swing that the other way but you'll see what's happening as it gets larger and larger the white line starts to swing around. That means we've effectively done a really good plane change. It's not optimized yet, but the plane change is done. Now we can fine-tune the date by going to the date and starting to go forward or back. And let me just kind of go coarse here. If I go way forward with the date, it seems like nothing's happening, but when I come the other way, it swings around and then I'll go forward again. So it swings. Let me go to medium and you'll be able to see that better. There it swings forward and here it swings back. Where it is, I'll go to fine, when it's really close to the point where the sling is going to happen, we've pretty much fine-tuned the date. So the date is going to be at 57075 point, um, the numbers here and we're not going to change that. What we are now going to do is start reducing the velocity a little bit, but notice it's hard to see. This is where we really need now to go back to setup 
scale to view should become target. This gives us a nice close-in view of what's happening. And back here to the velocity. Uh, I'm reducing it a bit and now we go to inclination. And let's just reduce this the inclination way down. So we're going to swing this all the way down. So the goal is to try and get our intercept of our two of our ship and the Trojan. So we're going smaller and less until we get those lines close together. Now on occasion what may happen is, and it didn't happen this time, but it can happen that these things are just, no matter what you do, they're sitting off by 60 degrees or something. Uh, and that's because it's looking at it right at the sling instead of an orbit later. In other words, the orbit to intercept has changed. So what you would do, you go to setup and go all the way through to orbits to intercept and make sure that it's not zero. Get it up to 0.5. Okay, here we are back again. We've, we're doing the sling angle, as I said, to get those lines together. We look at the velocity of the encounter. This is important. This is the whole point of this, is that we want to reduce the velocity. We're over 2,000 meters per second of arrival velocity. So what we're going to do now is reduce the initial velocity down from 8,800, let's say, to 8,000, and immediately go back up and do what's needed to get those lines back together, which they are. And the velocity's gone from over 2,000 down to 1,200. That was nice. And so we're going the right direction. And we'll go back to velocity, and we're going to reduce that further. How about 7,500 and change? And we'll go and reduce that. Okay, the lines are together. We're down to 800. It keeps getting better. And then we go back to velocity, and we'll reduce that even further. 7,300, 7,200, 7,100. Let's just say 7,000 for grins. And uh, we have uh, in inclination. We want, again, get those lines close together visually. And it says we're at about 4,400, 4,300. I mean, 430. Um, and that's getting really low. This is a, a good one. Let's go further to see what happens. Um, velocity. Let's take it way down to like, I don't know, 6,300 or something, 6,400, 62. Uh, inclination. And we're going to then change that. The lines are together. Hey, it's climbed again. We were at 4, so we've gone too far. So that means we go back to velocity and we raise it up. 767 maybe. See what that is. And what am I doing there? Okay. Inclination. There it was. Wrong way. And bring those lines together. 430. That's that's pretty good. So it appears as though we're getting some pretty good values. Uh, 67, let's just go up a bit, maybe 68 and a, and a half, 6,900, see what it's like there. And get the inclination to pull those lines together. And it's even down lower to 450, so it's, it's pretty good. So roughly, uh, let's recap here. We have a date of 57075 and change. That's when we, the ship that's coming from Earth needs to arrive at Jupiter. It needs an encounter velocity of uh, 6,900 meters per second. We can do an outward sling of zero. You could play with that if you want, but you don't need to mostly. And inclination angle of minus 112 and change. There you go.